हेलो एवरीवन देयर इज एन अपडेट फ्रॉम डीआरडीओ फॉर द इंजीनियरिंग नॉन इंजीनियरिंग एंड डिप्लोमा कैंडिडेट्स यू कैन गो एंड विजिट द वेबसाइट ऑफ डीआरडीओ वेयर यू कैन फाइंड दिस ऑफिशियल नोटिफिकेशन फॉर द अप्रेंटिस ट्रेनिंग यू कैन सी दिस द इनविटेशन फॉर एप्लीकेशन फॉर एंगेजमेंट ऑफ अप्रेंटिस ट्रेनिंग एट जीटीआरई इज रिलीज्ड यू कैन सी देयर आर डिफरेंट पोस्ट व्हिच आर रिलीज्ड so for graduate apprentice students belonging to mechanical production industrial production engineering total of 30 vacancies are released for aeronautical aerospace engineering 15 vacancies are released for electrical and electronics candidates 10 vacancies are released for computer science students 15 vacancies are released for metallurgy and material science students 4 vacancies are released for civil engineering and equivalent degree one post is released you can see the minimum age is 18 years and the maximum upper age limit is 27 years the candidate should possess relevant and verified degree from a aict approved college in the relevant department like mechanical aerospace electrical computer science metallurgy and civil engineering then we can also see this it's a graduate apprentice vacancies for non engineering candidates for bcom there are 10 vacancies for bsc chemistry physics maths electronics and computer science there are five vacancies for ba in finance or banking there are again five vacancies for bca there are five vacancies for bba there are five vacancies again the age limit minimum is 18 years and the upper age limit is 27 years you can see a degree granted by a statutory university by an institution empowered to award such degrees by an act of parliament means the candidate should possess a verified degree in the relevant zones you can see this this is for diploma students the candidates who hold the diploma degree so for mechanical production tool and die design you have 10 vacancies for electrical electronics seven vacancies for computer science this is three vacancies this is for diploma candidates right here you can see the total of 20 vacancies are released for this also the minimum age limit is 18 years and the maximum age is 27 years again the candidate should hold diploma degree then there are for other disciplines also again this is for iti so the candidates who have done their iti in mechanist there are three vacancies for fitter there are four for turner there are three for electrician there are three for welder there are two vacancies for sheet metal workers there are two vacancies and for computer operator and programming assistant there are eight vacancies again the age criteria is same the minimum age is 18 years and the upper age limit is 27 years now there are certain important things that you should focus here first of all the candidate should hold a relevant b btech degree if he is applying for apprentice training for engineering fields the training will be held or commence for only 12 months you can see this for b btech diploma engineering bcom bsc ba bca bba and non engineering degree the student has to apply by visiting this website it is officially mentioned in the notification for iti candidates they have to visit this website and they have to do the online application next you can see here <coughs> the students who have completed their b btech in the year 21 22 23 24 and 25 last 5 years are applicable for this are eligible to apply for this apprentice training the student who have already completed this apprentice training or who are currently doing it are not eligible for this in fact those graduates who are expecting their result and didn't got their result till now are also not eligible means you should have a result of btech degree graduating btech degree then only you can apply for this post you can see this the candidates with higher qualification are also not eligible means if you have mtech then also you are not eligible for this post okay so so many criterias are missed here means most of the criterias are like who are not eligible because number of applicants might be more if eligibility criteria was not made strict so stipend offered for engineering stream is for graduate apprentice b btech or equivalent degree 9000 per month of stipend will be given to you for diploma apprentice 8000 per month and for iti apprentice 7000 per month of stipend will be given to you for non engineering general stream 9000 per month of stipend will be given to you selection procedure is simple the shortlisting will be made on the basis of academic merit means whatever is your marks in your qualifying degree 
that will be used to prepare that merit and based on that the list of the shortlisted candidates will be published on the drdo website so do check out this vacancies and if you have liked this information don't forget it to share with your friends thank you for watching Thank you.